Hi, welcome back to Dr. Sam in the City. So continuing on with the theme of um, questions that you guys have asked on um, social media um, regarding sunscreen. It's obviously a thing that you're realizing is super important. I know I've been banging my drum about it from day one. Um, and I guess it's normal to want to know how to make it work practically on a daily basis. Um, it is one of the hardest steps to build into your routine, but there is no doubt that there is good reason to, and your skin will um, benefit from it in the longer term. So um, one of the commonest questions that gets asked time and time again is, do I um, need to reapply my sunscreen um, over the course of the average working day? And if so, how do I make that work with makeup? So this is not an easy question to answer. And I don't know that I even have the perfect solution to this. Um, I guess my feeling is this, that it very much depends on what you're planning to do during the day um, in terms of your levels of exposure um, during, during the day. So for instance, if someone plans to go running um, during their lunch hour, then my feeling is there is no doubt that is intentional outside um, UV exposure and you need extra protection. So that would mean in the morning, thinking about what your day has in store for you and planning accordingly. So that would mean to me that you would apply a tinted sunscreen possibly a water resistant format. And for instance, Jan Marini does a really good one, the um, physical protectant, um, which is water resistant, all physical and tinted. So that will give you a bit of coverage. That will give you um, a, a workable base that you could reapply before you went out running because you really do need to put that on again. If you put your sunscreen on at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. to go to work and you're going outside and it's sunny, you need more sunscreen on at midday. Um, but it means you're building up a bit of coverage um, with this product because it's tinted and it's well formulated not to block pores. So with a bit of strategic concealer applied over the top, I think that's a base that you could work with and you've got that extra layer of protection. So similarly, even if it wasn't running that you were planning to do, but say you had to have a lunch outdoors um, in, a, in a street side cafe for business, um, I would always be seeking shade, but again, you would wanna reapply sunscreen if you know you're gonna actually be outside and exposed during your working day. However, for someone who is just popping out to get a sandwich during um, lunchtime, it's all very food orientated, but that's kind of how I see somebody's working day going. Um, I know all I would tend to do is to walk in the shade. I simply wouldn't be craving um, the sun that you do see people um, kind of craving over their lunch hour. You see people sitting in a park, um, grabbing a sandwich. And I understand psychologically why you would want that, but if your skin isn't protected and you're seeking to go brown, well, I mean, we all know what's going to happen with the skin over the longer term. So, um, in general, seek shade if you're popping out and you're not in a position to reapply your sunscreen. I think there is some merit in a blast of one of these SPF sprays, for example, by Bioderma. Um, but most of them don't give you measurable UVA protection and therefore um, whilst they will stop you burning, I would say to you that actually you just need to manage your behaviour correctly to avoid getting significant UV exposure during your lunch hour. I think that's as good as any of us can do. If you suffer from melasma, you should actually be wearing a hat because it's those short bursts of incidental UV that you accumulate that can actually drive your pigmentation to come back like that. So um, that is the one caveat, take extra care if you're prone to um, melasma. It's not perfect, we're not there yet. Um, sun protection compacts can form an extra layer of defense, but the problem is the best ones contain iron oxide and that tends to give the product a kind of an orangey and um, tanned hue, um, which isn't for everyone, it's certainly not for me. Um, but I think we're making improvements, but ultimately I think the key thing is to manage your own behavior, know what your day has in store and behave accordingly. That was quite a long video for something which is basically an answer to one question, but I think it just shows us that it's a complicated situation. Um, but yeah, managing your behavior is always the first and foremost way of protecting from the sun. Hope that was helpful. Bye.